students to welcome students uh, welcome to uh, the gas turbine lecture 4 in the previous uh, lecture we have learned about the ideal gas turbine cycles okay but uh, in practice uh, it is difficult to achieve those ideal conditions okay so therefore now uh, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, the performance of the practical gas turbine cycles by taking into account the different losses in different components okay so uh, before going into the details and uh, let's see the various assumptions and uh, another thing in this uh, lecture we will see the various assumptions first of all we will see the various assumptions and uh, we will derive the efficiency for gas uh, turbine and for compressor and we will also derive the relation of the work ratio okay so let's start first of all uh, let's see the assumptions okay for of this uh, practical or actual gas turbine cycles So as the fluid velocities are high in turbo machinery, the change in kinetic energy between inlet and outlet of each component will be taken into account. Okay. Number two is the compression and expansion process are irreversible adiabatic involving increasing in entropy. Okay. The compression and expansion that means the uh, compressor work and the turbine work are the irreversible adiabatic but in case of ideal process that was reversible adiabatic or isentropic process but here this uh, expansion and uh, compression work are the irreversible adiabatic number three is fluid friction results in pressure losses in uh, combustion chamber and heat exchangers and also the inlet and exhaust ducts. Number four, the complete heat exchange is not possible in heat exchanger. The mass flow is assumed to be same in spite of the addition of fuel. This is justified because the bleeding of air from the compressor, which is around uh, one to two percent for cooling the turbine disc and blades route is uh, compensated by the addition of fuel then the values of cp and gamma of the working fluid vary throughout the cycle due to the change of temperature and due to the change in chemical composition of the working medium okay and last one is slightly more work than the required for compression process will be necessary to overcome the bearing and windage friction in the transmission and to drive auxiliary components okay so these are the assumptions so the compressor and turbine efficiency uh, the actual uh, simple gas turbine cycle is uh, shown in this figure okay uh, the ts diagram during the compression process the considerable amount of uh, energy is supplied to the compressor is uh, wasted in chewing up the working fluid and this uh, energy does not contribute the pressure rise but it's uh, converted into the heat by friction so uh, the outcome is that the temperature of the working fluid is higher at the end of compression and uh, it would have been had the process been fully and truly isentropic. The compression process on the TS diagram will therefore uh, be represented by the line that is a 1, 2 as you can see this is 1, 2, this is a curved line 1, 2. Okay. The temperature at 2 uh, is that means the temperature at here at point 2 is higher than the at point 2 dash okay that 1 to 2 dash is the isentropic uh, 
process that is a reversible adiabatic process and 1 to 2 is irreversible adiabatic process again 1 to 2 dash that means the, the straight line process okay the constant entropy the straight line process is uh, the straight line process okay. it's 1 to 2 the straight line process is the straight line 1 to 2 dash the straight line 1 to 2 dash is a constant entropy and reversible adiabatic process 1 to 2 dash this straight line and 1 to 2 is the irreversible adiabatic process this 1 to 2 okay is the irreversible adiabatic process so uh, from this uh, diagram we can uh, see that the temperature at 2 being higher than at 2 dash okay so which is the temperature that would have been reached by isotropic compression over the same uh, pressure ratio because of this the more work input to the compressor is required and thereby the efficiency of the compressor comes into picture okay so the efficiency of the compressor is uh, given by or uh, is we can uh, uh, define as the isentropic compression work by the actual compression work isentropic compression work this is the isentropic compression work that is 1 to 2 dash by the adiabatic uh, or actual compression work okay that is the reversible adiabatic compression work by the irreversible adiabatic compression work that is the isentropic compression work the numerator and in denominator is the actual compression work okay so uh, this is the enthalpy okay this uh, h2 dash h1 to 1 okay so uh, now we are uh, converting this a uh, enthalpy into the temperature that is uh, the t1 this point uh, temperature is t1 the temperature at this point is t2 dash and this point temperature is t2 okay t2 t2 dash and t1 okay so the compression uh, compressor efficiency becomes t2 dash minus t1 by t2 minus t1 okay so uh, because of the total pressure ratio or stagnation pressure ratio of the compressor we are uh, assuming at uh, rc okay so that is the t2 dash by t1 dash is equal to rc to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma okay because 1 to 2 dash this is the 1 to 2 dash line this is the straight line this straight line is isentropic work done so uh, we are uh, calculating this uh, the pressure ratio for this uh, work okay so now from this equation we can write so uh, t2 minus t1 is equals to t1 by eta c eta c is the compressor efficiency into rc to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 this relation is comes from uh, here the compressor efficiency equation okay so now the compressor work the compressor actual work is defined as w c act okay so that is uh, nothing but uh, that is equals to the cp into t1 by eta c cp into t1 by eta c into rc to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 because this work done is uh, t2 uh, this uh, temperature difference is t2 minus t1 okay so uh, we know the work done formula is uh, mcpdt okay so for uh, unit mass flow rate or uh, for unit ma mass of fuel m is 1 and by multiplying cp with this temperature difference by multiplying this cp okay with this temperature difference this uh, t2 and uh, t1 we get the actual work done the actual compressor work done okay 
now now uh, in case of uh, turbine efficiency that is uh, eta t eta of h t in case of turbine efficiency we can write the actual turbine work output by the isentropic turbine work output okay the actual turbine work output the actual turbine work output is defined by this 3 to 4 is the actual turbine work output by the isentropic turbine work output isentropic tur turbine work output is defined by this red line okay the red straight line with the constant entropy line okay so in this case this uh, isentropic uh, work output is higher than the actual cycle work output so the actual cycle uh, work output the actual turbine work output by the isentropic uh, turbine work output in denominator okay so uh, that becomes uh, t3 minus t4 by t3 minus t4 dash okay so we are again uh, the assuming r suffix t is the total uh, pressure ratio of for in case of uh, turbine expansion process okay so in case of uh, isentropic process t3 by t4 dash t3 by t4 dash equals to rt to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma t3 by t4 dash equals to rt to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma so the uh, r3 minus r4 th that means the temperature difference for actual turbine process the actual turbine work working process the temperature difference t3 minus t4 which becomes eta suffix t eta t is the turbine efficiency into t3 into 1 minus 1 by rt to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma so again the turbine uh, wt uh, turbine work output actual turbine work output that is uh, that is uh, wt actual act act wt actual that is cp into this temperature difference the cp into this temperature difference so we get the actual turbine work output okay so that is uh, cp into eta t into t3 into 1 minus 1 by rt to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma now the net work done okay the net work done net work done is nothing but same as previous the turbine work actual turbine work minus actual compressor work this is the turbine work that we have already derived minus the compressor work okay and uh, this is the expression for net work done now the um, work ratio work ratio is nothing but the net work done by the actual turbine work so that becomes 1 minus actual compressor work by the actual turbine work again 1 minus actual compressor work by the actual turbine work that means net work done by the turbine work okay this is the uh, work ratio this is the work ratio net work done by turbine work so uh, if we assume that is the pressure ratio in case of uh, compressor in case of turbine and in case uh, is uh, equal and that is equals to r and uh, substituting uh, this uh, rc rt and equals to r this value into this uh, work ratio equation this equation so let's see what we get so that is uh, 1 minus t1 into r to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma minus 1 by eta c eta t into t3 okay so 1 minus c by small t into 1 by eta c eta t this is the uh, ideal uh, expression for work ratio here small c is the r to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma and t small t is the ratio of the temperature difference that is the maximum temperature by the minimum temperature the maximum and minimum temperature difference uh, ratio the maximum and minimum temperature that is t3 and t1 
the maximum temperature and minimum temperature ratio is small t okay so this is the expression for uh, work ratio so uh, we can see the work ratio increased by high temperature ratio and low pressure ratio the work ratio is increased by high temperature ratio small t and low pressure ratio okay so uh, let's solve a numerical uh, says that an uh, oil gas turbine installation consists of a compressor a combustion chamber and a turbine the air taking in uh, at a pressure of 1 bar and the and the temperature of 30 degrees celsius the compressed to 6 bar with a isentropic efficiency of uh, 87 percent the heat is added by the combustion of fuel in the combustion chamber rises the temperature to 700 degrees celsius the efficiency of turbine is 85 percent the calorific value of oil is 43.1 megajoule per kg calculate for air flow of 80 kg per minute neglect the effect of fuel in uh, mass flow rate calculate number one the air fuel ratio of the turbine gases the final temperature of exhaust gases the net power installation and number four the overall thermal efficiency of the installation assume cp of uh, air is 1.005 kilojoule per kg kelvin and gamma for air that is 1.4 and cp for gas is uh, 1.147 kilojoule per kg kelvin and gamma for gas that is 1.33 okay so uh, as it says that the pressure is compressed from uh, 1 bar to 6 bar that means at point 1 the pressure is 1 bar and at point 2 dash is uh, 6 bar so let's first find out the temperature of t2 dash t2 dash is equals to t1 into p2 by p1 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma so t1 temperature is 30 degree celsius that is 303 into 6 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma uh, gamma value for air is 1.4 so that becomes 0 0.02857 so the t2 dash value is 505.5 505.5 kelvin okay now find the t2 value the temperature at this point after compressed uh, the actual uh, in actual process the temperature of uh, t2 is t1 plus t2 dash minus t1 by eta c the compressor efficiency so by substituting all these values we get the t1 value is uh, 303 t2 dash value is uh, this 505.5 this is t1 and uh, eta c is 87 percent so that becomes 0 0.87 so the value of t2 becomes 535.8 kelvin okay 535.8 kelvin now uh, as in the question it uh, says that uh, neglect the effect of fuel in the mass flow rate okay so we are going to neglect the mass flow rate uh, effect so the m dot f plus m dot a is nearly equals to m dot a the mass flow rate of air so we have to find out first we have to find out the mass flow rate of fuel m dot f so that is equals to m dot a into cpg the cp of gas into the temperature difference the combustion uh, the combustion temperature difference that is t3 minus t2 t3 is the end of combustion okay temperature and minus t1 uh, t2 t3 is the end uh, temperature end combustion temperature and minus t2 is the initial combustion temperature the temperature at the starting or the beginning of combustion by the cv 
so and the m dot a value is given that is 80 kg per minute so that is 80 by 60 uh, kg per second cp value is given cp of gas is given 1.147 and t3 is 973 minus t2 that we have already uh, calculated by the cv that is the cv value the cv value is 43.1 mega joule per uh, kg so the value of a mass flow rate becomes 0 0.0155 kg per second so the mass flow rate of air by the mass flow rate of fuel becomes 80 by 60 into 1 by 0 0.0155 so that becomes 86 okay so the air fuel ratio the air fuel ratio becomes 86 is to 1 or simply 86 okay so now uh, let's find out the temperature of t4 dash okay temperature of t4 dash t4 dash is the temperature if the turbine uh, follows the uh, reversible adiabatic process or the isentropic process and t4 is the outlet temperature of the t4 dash t4 dash is the outlet temperature of the turbine in ideal case so that is equals to t3 into p4 by p3 to the power gamma minus 1 by gamma and t3 value is 973 into p4 by p3 is uh, nothing but 1 by 6 to the power gamma of air is uh, 1.4 so that is 0 0.2481 so that t4 dash becomes 6 to 3 6 to 3.8 kelvin okay now the value of t4 okay the actual temperature actual turbine exhaust temperature the or the actual turbine outlet temperature that is t4 that is equals to t3 minus turbine efficiency eta t into t3 minus t4 dash so the value of uh, the t4 becomes 672 uh, 676.2 676.2 kelvin now the net power that is uh, w suffix n uh, the net power by neglecting the fuel we get the by neglecting the fuel flow rate we get the turbine work the actual turbine work minus the actual compressor work actual turbine work is the actual turbine work again minus the actual compressor work okay and here for in case of turbine work we are substituting m dot a that is the mass flow rate of air instead of mass flow rate of fuel because in the question is given that it says that neglect the fuel effect so we are just neglecting the mass flow rate of fuel effect okay so instead of mass flow rate of fuel we are substituting here the mass flow rate of air so mass flow rate of air into cp g that is the gas cp of gas into t3 minus t4 the actual temperature difference uh, the actual uh, expansion work temperature difference minus m dot a mass flow rate of air into cp a cp of air into t2 minus t1 that is the actual temperature difference in case of compression so by substituting all these values okay uh, we get the actual uh, work done that is 142 kilowatt the actual work done as the 142 kilowatt now the overall thermal efficiency that is uh, net power by heat input the net power by heat input so the net power that we have already cal cal calculated uh, now that is uh, 142 kilowatt by this uh, by this uh, 0 0.0155 that is the mass flow rate of fuel that we have already calculated into the cv the calorific value of fuel okay 43.1 mega joule per kg into 100 again 142 is the network 142 is the network this network okay this value and one uh, and 0 0.0155 0 0.0155 is the mass flow rate of fuel that we have already calculated into 43.1 uh, 
और 43100 जूल पर केजी और 43.1 मेगा जूल पर केजी दिस वैल्यू इज द कैलोरीफिक वैल्यू ऑफ फ्यूल इनटू 100 सो द ओवरऑल थर्मल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ दिस प्लांट इज 21.25% 21.25% सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिराइव्ड और द एफिशिएंसी द एक्चुअल efficiency in case of turbine or in case of compressor and uh, we also derived the work ratio and uh, we have done a small numerical here so in the next lecture we will do some other types of numerical on this uh, actual cycle turbine okay thank you